trailer boats are becoming bigger and better and fitted with more and more gadgets. Perhaps none more so than the sports boat category. Boats such as this Malibu 22MXZ can weigh upwards of 3,000 kilograms on the trailer. And with that kind of weight, you need a decent tow vehicle. And that's where the Ram 2500 Laramie fits the bill perfectly. Had the Ram 2500 Laramie in the Car Advice garage for a week now, and I've got to say it's been a lot of fun to drive in a suburban situation. At no time I've found this car difficult to drive, or to park for that matter. You're up nice and high, and the driving position is extremely comfortable. But that's not what we're here for. This is a beast of a tow vehicle with impressive credentials. With a standard 50mm tow ball, the towing capacity is 3,500 kilograms. With a 70mm tow ball, I can put 4,500 kilograms on the back. And with a pintle hitch, I can get an incredible 6,942 kilograms on the back of this car. And I can tell you right now, it can hardly feel the difference. To get that kind of weight moving, you need torque. And that's provided in this case with a 6.7 litre V8 turbo diesel Cummins engine. It's got more than enough power to get anything you have hitched to the back moving forward with a minimum of effort, whether that be a caravan, a horse float, or a boat like we have today. To help with your towing on board, there's an array of computerized systems that give you a full view of what's going on out the back and also helps you control the braked trailer. Down to my left on the console here, you've got your gain for your braking on the trailer. You can increase or decrease that depending on how much weight you've got. You've also got a camera here which can operate and look into the cargo area or you can actually look right out the back of the vehicle using the reversing camera and have a look at your trailer. So if you do get into trouble, it's quick to be able to check what's going on back there without having to pull over and try and work out what exactly is going on. There's also a tow haul mode on board and that helps you control the trailer in two ways. One, when you're shifting up, it actually delays the shift so that your gearbox isn't working over time and therefore overheating. Not only that, but when you're slowing down, it will actually shift down gears and use the engine braking to help you come to a stop. Inside the cabin, it's all luxury with leather upholstery throughout. The front seats are vented and heated as well, and the steering wheel also has heating for those cold winter mornings. Across the back, you can fit three people, and across the front, you also can fit three by using the sometimes seat in the middle here, forming a bench. This will actually show how hard it is to turn this thing around. At 17 metres long, to get around a roundabout like this, you're gonna to have to go really wide around it because you don't wanna scratch your rims on the gutter of the roundabout itself. And if we go easy, we should make it around quite nicely. The difficulty will come when you're trying to turn around a tighter roundabout than that. The boat's in position, and now I want to engage the park brake. It's the only issue I have with this conversion. They can move things only so far. So in this case, the park brake is located on the far right-hand side of the vehicle. To engage it, I'll put the vehicle in park, I'll put my left foot onto the brake in the footwell, and I'll use my right foot to put the park brake on, and then I'm nice, safe, and secure. I can turn the car off and hop out. It's a little bit clunky, but nevertheless, quite effective. This is one of the funnest and most impressive tow vehicles I have ever driven. It's quite large, but it's very maneuverable. And with a towing ability which is effortless, it means you can literally put anything on the back. 